have Jared Sound here from AndrewTechBlackSpot.com. Right now with Galaxy Note, I'll be showing you and a review of Paranoid Android ROM on your Galaxy Note for AT&T. This is going to be same for others Note 2. And this no, this ROM will work on Rogers Bell Telus Galaxy Note as long as it is AT&T. I mean LTE enabled, not the on on uh, unlocked international version so we're going to go ahead and start this will take a few seconds for me because I don't have SIM card until then we are going to go ahead and go over some features as I always say this is not tablet mode at all it has nothing to do with silly build prof hack this is the first and only Android ROM to feature true hybrid mode this ROM lets you scale and project every app every widget every system components individually remember Android is modular everything is an app lock screen navigation dialogues pop-ups ke keyboard widgets and your regular apps of course so they let you customize all the individual apps the the way you like so if you want to have different DPI per app you can do that and I'll, basically I just read that paragraph off their website just so you know that it's not only telemark and we can go ahead and skip this for me because I don't have SIM card I can sign into my Wi-Fi so I'm gonna hide this for you guys right there and here you can sign into your Google account which will start downloading your applications that you have under your Gmail account I'm gonna say no not now I'll sign up later the performance and battery life on this ROM is awesome because this is based on Cyanide 10 and it's hybrid so you can ex ex expect everything that in Sanajman with their own paranoid Android features under the setting. So this is your regular lock screen or my bad launcher. Let's go ahead and go to the app drawer and find out. These are the application it comes with five by five. The, these are the widgets it comes with. Let's go ahead and go to setting. And find out what we are running as you see dual panel setting another feature it says panel android pa queen sys att usually go and blah 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 and here is your 4.1.1 and it's smiling at you always say that and these are the features that it gives you launcher Stibu launcher just like Sanage 10. So you got all the features that CM10 comes with. These are the features that your launcher has or home screen, drawer, app drawer, a notification drawer. No, that's app drawer because that's notification doesn't get into the launcher. That's your rotation under your general. Then lock screen. This is your screen security, background, whichever default background or whichever background you like, see through. needs to be rebooted that's why I reboot because I actually like that options so sometimes when you want something to be done it will reboot itself just like it did right now and now you can see it transfer lock screen gonna go and lock and go back to the setting where we were under lock screen and then here you can have clock alignment on your lock screen battery status owner's information you can type your name and it will appear on your lock screen so if you lose your note you can have something typed up so they can call you or something I don't know that weather calendars weather so you know to carry umbrella or not appointments for your calendar themes you can of course download all the themes for signage word and flash it here just tap apply and you will be there under system you got serious by notification drawer wallpaper font size power menu notification bar 
hardware keys kind of get tired because they have so many features in it that you just don't know how much what how speed speed you're gonna say everything you know these are the settings so center clock if you want right there because mostly tablet mod has a tablets has a center clock and this I call fablet that's why I like sent it to you transparency I always like to have percentages so I know when to charge and we're going to go back to notification drawer here is your time when you can select all these widget buttons just like CM10 and now you get scrollable has a charge button too so you can have that then widget button orders choose drawer to change and those are the setting identification drawer the wallpaper you can select whatever wallpaper you like then font size power menu regular power menu just like sign as one ten as you can see right there this does not include in sign of the ten I guess just go and try it out what that is I don't know what it did so let's go back to system then we are at navigation bar you don't need that and hardware keys you can have this hardware keys and give it different function from here when you enable it you can give it a different functionality to every buttons we're going to go ahead and go to panel and settings here is the most part why people like panel and workspace you can have hybrid off stack system you user interface fabric user interface that's what I like always it will reboot so I'm gonna allow it to reboot right now what you were seeing was your phone's user interface but what I just selected is your fabric user interface you can always go back and select different one you don't like so do a little experiment on your by yourself and you will know which one you like and which one you want to have for your galaxy Note to be running as a daily driver this is still in work in progress so you might uh, notice bugs system setting again and tablet mode just it just made that smaller and as you can see that's the tablet mode kind of made that smaller so I kind of like running into family mode because that's what I call this beast and then you can have tablet UI small tablet UI again I'm gonna reboot I am just wanted to show you guys so sometimes you don't have time you don't have to spend it because I will show you what it looks like how it interferes with your daily uses usage and as you see for the performance it boots up really fast so you don't have to worry about that kind of performance issues all you have to worry about is your own choices what are you gonna do with this ROM because it offers so much functionality that you just gonna run out of ideas to use you know you can customize differently every day you want at least you can theme or get different themes every day system setting again I'm gonna go back to panel and Android setting and this is your probably my tablet my small I didn't show you that and that's your regular what am I supposed to say that's your regular status bar just like tablet so now here are the options you can do then use your interface here's what I was talking about on the tablet mode you can have system DP default UI phone mode you, if you change that then all the applications and stuff will, might be changing and here is your what do you want your system location to be it's a 320 if you can have it right there I'm not gonna apply that but you can have that and here you can change all that setting for densities for your application and apps you can customize your app the way you want so you can pick out a browser I'm gonna go 213 apply 
so you, if you reboot that's when you pierce here you can back up and restore and that's your help let's go and see if see that's your telemar that's really good and let, let me go you the let me show you the YouTube channel uh, it does not have YouTube I guess but it has Gmail I was supposed to say Google now kinda came in as a Gmail but here you go I was supposed to say Google now to Nicki Minaj email that Sego what the hell my accent is not comfortable with Google now so as you can see everything is themed out just like Cyanogemar 10 because it is hybrid and this was just a review of Fender and ROM on your Galaxy Note for AT&T there you go don't ask me about the radius part it was sitting down home for like a month or something and that's when those parts appeared out of nowhere and as always guys thanks button is right or like button is right there subscribe button is up there like right in there 69 position give me a thumbs up for 69 and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching